Welcome back to VW Farm. We need to get that wood stove installed and the first thing we're going to do is lay some concrete block around where it's going to act as a heat sink and a fire protectant. Let's get started. And I'm starting to build a small little holder wall if you will to do two things. One, it's going to retain heat better and two, it's going to act as like a fire wall. And then we have enough double wall pipe to go straight up and out the roof. We got that uh, from our house. We had a little old wood stove, so we're reusing that. And we got all these cinder blocks for free, um, but I don't think we're going to have enough. It's going to be really close, but we're going to use all the free ones before going out and buying any. I moved all these blocks. I got them lined in a U. It's going to act as a nice heat sink and it's gonna help protect the structure. And then we're gonna run double wall vent right straight up through the roof and we should have a good vent. Next thing we're gonna do is pull this wood stove out. I have more patio stone and then I have some sand that we're gonna lay down and we're gonna get that nice and smooth and put it back in. I got these one by one patio blocks just so the feet have something level to sit on and then the rest of this is gonna get packed with sand. Now I'm just going to use this play sand just to fill in the cracks that um, aren't covered by stone. That looks really good. Should have got a second bag. Alright, now we got to get this wood stove back in. There's your dinner. There is the home of the new wood stove. I just need to pull that one block out a little bit so it has something to sit on. But other than that, we're looking pretty good. We need to get the venting in. And we have double wall pipe from a wood stove that we used to have. And we're just reusing that and we're gonna go from here straight up through the roof. When we put the vent on, this roof rafter is like seven eighths of an inch between the edge and the wall. So I might just take some tin and kind of tin that up, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's starting to come together. Now at least we got heat in this place. It's looking a little different now. How I did it is I took a level right here and I put it on either side got it plumb, and then I marked the inside, and then I went about 11 inches around. So as it, when, it, when I get it level and straight and mounted, it'll be just fine. So the next thing, we have to get our witch's cap cut and slid over the top. All these witch's caps, um, the ones I usually deal with, they come all the way up to a point and you just cut it out. Uh, this one, it's got numbers on it. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see right here. And each line is a different measurement. We need about 10, 10 and a half inches. So I'm gonna cut this line right here that says 10, 10 and a half. There, I got it cut out. Now it's time to get this over that pipe. Okay, now the fun part. Oh, that's not bad. And that's basically all you do. I thought it was gonna be a lot worse than that. So the metal ribbing here is actually designed to go around ribs. Maybe not this many ribs, but for a tin roof, that's what it's designed for. So we're gonna to try to get it to go around all these ribs. And I'm gonna take some two by fours and create a box to screw into and that should be pretty nice. So I'm gonna get those two by fours made so I can screw into them. I cut this opening just a little bit too much. I can see the corners here. So we'll have to fix that. We got enough scrap around, we'll be fine. Well, it's a work in progress. I still have these gaps to fill, um, but it should work out okay. I just have to seal it now but I got around the ribs just fine up and around the top. 
I knew this was going to be the biggest pain to, to do, so I saved it for last. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this and I'm going to sheet metal around this wood just to kind of protect it and figure out how to fix these gaps. I think I might take a piece of sheet metal and um, kind of fill it in and in case water gets in there it'll drain outward. We'll see what happens. It's going to be a work in progress. All right, so what I'm doing here, since I, this was too big and that witch's cap won't cover it, I added the sheet metal around, not only to protect the wood and make it a non-combustible area, but I'm gonna add in some sheet metal. Once we get this straight, I'm gonna add in some sheet metal up to the pipe on both sides, so when it does rain, it'll just drain right off and down. It's not pretty, it's, I mean, it is what it is, it's a, it's a repair, but it should work out fine. Just to kind of give the idea what I'm doing, uh, I got the top piece here done, and I need to go to the store and get a longer piece of the bottom, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim this right here and run this sheet metal straight out the bottom and come out to about here, so when, the, when it rains, I'm gonna seal all this, but when it rains, and the water gets onto this sheet metal here, it'll run down, this bottom piece will come underneath, and it'll just run down and out. Um, and then we're gonna caulk around the chimney. But, um, and then on top of that, we're gonna have our witch's cap on top too. But uh, this should get us relatively dry. We probably didn't need the witch's cap, but it's already bought, it's already used, it's already paid for, so we're gonna use it. But yeah, that's what's coming along here right now, and it's honestly not looking as bad as I thought. It's a nice warm 72 degrees in here, but we have our wood stove going. I have the damper closed, so that's why it's spilling back on me. We also have all this wood split. But... It's uh, it's smoking, so that's all we care about. So I'm putting these guards in. What's happening is the water gets on the sheet metal and it's making its way in, which we knew was going to happen. But what I did, instead of using just the boot, is I made this tart around it. So as the water gets on this, it'll come down underneath the plastic and run out here. Um, but we have to just get the sides guarded and then we're going to run some tar along that and then we're going to uh, screw everything down, put the boot down and that should keep the majority of the water out. I removed this piece here. I felt like it was just not necessary. Uh, sent in a screw into the support below and I tarred up both sides and now we're going to slide this boot over top and screw it down. Next thing I want to do to this is put this gasket around it, around the door. What that will help do is seal it. So if we put this ga rope gasket around this door, it helps seal it when we shut it. That way it doesn't get a bunch of airflow from around the door to help prolong our burn times and help control our, our uh, airflow going in because we have air shutters on the bottom here. Basically, you run a bead around your door with the, ga or with the material and then you place this right on top of it and then allow it to dry. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna come back when it's dry. All right, I have that gasket on here. Um, not a big fan. This top left corner here, you can see it's kind of pushed out. It's having a hard time sealing, but it's sealing over here on the hinge side, which is perfect. I think I'm going to, I think I'm gonna let it run with that and see how it does, but I might have to get like the flat rope gasket. But so far it's working pretty well. Um, I got it going right now. You're supposed to burn it 
So you're, you're supposed to put the gasket on when it's cool, let it dry, and then burn it within 30 days. We've already done that. And right now we're just doing an experimental burn and everything's going really well. Um, next step I'm gonna take care of in a, on a later date is getting our air intake piped in. Um, I want to I want to bring in outside air to go here where our air intake is that way it's not sucking air from inside the greenhouse bringing cold outside air to replenish what the combustion's using. Thank you for watching. This journey on this greenhouse is wrapping up. Uh, we're getting really really close to finally getting it in place. We're going to be planting in uh, about two months getting plants started have a lot of projects going on we have a lot coming on uh, the channel please subscribe hit that notification bell share this video like this video tell all your friends about it and we'll catch you on the next one